Good morning. I'm Clary. I'm the nurse assistant. Hi, Jacob. How are you today? In minor procedure suites, approximately 34% of our population has some type of special needs. This can be in the autism spectrum disorder, ADHD, or some type of communication disorder. You know what is this? Yeah. All right. Would you like to try for us? Yeah. Okay. If the kids are nervous, could you imagine the parents, uh, you know, how they're feeling? So what we're trying to do is assist in them, and now we're providing them with this uh, Oculus that is helping us a lot because it's not just, you know, providing them an iPad, it's a, a virtual reality. So now having this virtual reality platform and parents seeing how the child um, is responding to it has really been a game changer, not only for our parents and patients, but for the staff. Initially, some of the staff member was concerned about how we were going to launch it, but I was fortunate to really um, partner up with Clara and some of the nurses that are really seeing the difference now. It was a great experience. Once they saw uh, that we were able to provide this diversion tool and they saw the patients utilizing it and they saw how calm everyone was. It was an easy sell for the rest of the team to get on board. All right, everything is set, okay? I'm going to put this for you okay? Thank you, Daddy. Thank You're you welcome. so Thank much. You. We let the patient have this tool throughout the whole experience. We place it in the pre-op area as we're waiting for their procedure to, to begin. As we have the, the Oculus on, once we start moving the patient, we keep them informed throughout the whole process. We're just gonna, you're gonna feel a movement and um, we bring them all the way back here with the parent at the bedside and into the induction phase with anesthesia. We coming into the street with the kids, entertain with the Oculus, and we keep the Oculus until here. Here, anesthesia, it's uh, putting the mask on him, and that's it. Sweet dreams. <laughs> So the success that we've seen so far with this program really has ignited conversations throughout the organization and how else we can really apply this. I'm fortunate to share an office with the pain specialist nurse of the hospital. When she heard that we were using it, she too was super excited about it. She mentioned how this could be used for chronic pain management. She mentioned how there's an opportunity to use this in the hematology oncology section in the, the bone marrow transplant unit. These patients are experiencing isolation, they're there, they're having pain. and and this diversion activity can really be applied to help these population as well.